Have you ever had a conversation where something was said and you could feel this anger brewing up? And before you knew it, your thoughts were going back to an experience that happened years ago. And in your thoughts, they're saying, I'm not going to let you speak to me like that. I remember being spoken to like that by my ex and it made me feel stupid. And I'm not going to let you speak to me like that. Have you ever wondered why you're dragging up this past conversation? Hello, I'm Katarina Smiley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, it's great to have you. If you're returning, it's good to see you. If you get value from this video, I'd be so grateful if you'd like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if at the end of this, you didn't enjoy or you didn't feel you got value out of it, then you can untick all of it and you've lost nothing. So let's get into why it is that maybe in certain situations, circumstances, conversations, where you can feel you're getting this heightened emotional reaction and you're not really sure why. Why is this happening? So let's delve into, of course, we're gonna go down and we're gonna identify why. We all have had things in our past that we've suppressed, yeah? And most of what we've suppressed is the emotional attachment to an event that you endured, yeah? Or an experience. An unpleasant one, a sad one, a traumatic one, whatever it is. We often go to therapy and we speak about the event, right? What we endured, we speak about that. But often what's missing is the emotion that came along with that. How what we endured made us emotionally feel. And that's the part that gets suppressed and often not looked at, not healed, nor released. And so let's get back to the beginning where I spoke about you were in a conversation, something was said and it's triggered. And you're going back through all these old things that you've gone through. It could be related back to an ex that spoke to you or said something very similar that made you feel that way, yeah? And therefore you've dragged, if you haven't healed that emotion, you've dragged that emotion up from there that you've not healed and it's just compounded the current. Hence, it's heightened your reaction to something that has been said. I'm going to give you a couple of other circumstances because in situations, I want to make sure that you really do begin to understand why you are reacting the way you are to certain situations. And when you've walked away and you've calmed down, you've reflected and gone, I don't really know why I reacted like that. Logically, you cannot find the answer because when you're rebalanced, you have the ability to logically process what's happened and you're going, why did that affect me like that? Why did I react like that? Today, I'm going to give you the answers why. It may not resonate with all of you and it may not be for all of you. But most of the reasons why we react and overreact to certain situations, conversations, circumstances, is because there is, it's triggering a suppressed emotion that you've not healed. It's very similar, it aligns, it, it makes you feel the same way that you felt back then. For instance, an example, I'm pulling it and it's channeling. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to go back to an experience if this, isn't, this is just an example. I was teased at school. I was made to feel less than because we didn't have the money to buy the books, right? So not only did it make me feel stupid when the teacher pulled me in front of the class, I felt stupid, I felt less than, I felt that I didn't fit in, I felt like an alien, I felt lonely. All those things from that one event, right? All of those emotions. So lonely, less than, so self-worth, it impacted my self-worth, my confidence, and my limiting belief of my intelligence even. And you might go, what? They're all the emotions of how it made me feel, yeah? Now, uh, if I hadn't worked through that, that sits there, suppressed down here, 
hiding, waiting for something to trigger and grab that emotion back up because it's not been healed or released, yeah? So you're having a conversation today and someone says something that makes you feel all of those old emotions, makes you feel stupid, less than, not worthy, dumb even, whatever words and emotions it makes you feel in that current conversation. And all of a sudden, there's this internal rage because we react with anger. That's the instant go-to. We don't act. Some, we do cry, right? I'm not saying all, but generally, it is we react with anger. It's like, how dare you? Why did you say that to me? And your thoughts are going a thousand miles an hour. And often, you may even go, you know what? I am not going to let you treat me how I was treated all those years ago when that teacher pulled me up and made me feel dumb and less than. I'm not going to let you do that. Hmm. Guess what we've just done? We've just, it's just triggered and hooked that old suppressed emotions, all of them, then compounded to the current day emotions in that conversation. Guess what happens? We go from zero to 100. Mount Vesuvius, I like to call it. That's why sometimes we react so, when you look back, you go, why did you react like that? Our reaction is so enhanced and heightened because we've just hooked that old suppressed emotion and brought that into it. And now we've compounded. It's not only that emotion right there and then, you've 10X'd it with your old stuff. Your old emotions have compounded it and it's just... How many times in situations, circumstances, have you all of a sudden began to thought about an old, something that you enjoyed years ago? Why? Why would that memory come up in that moment? Why? Have you ever asked yourself that? It's so important to become so conscious aware if you're bringing up old memories or old stories, why? They're not presenting themselves in your consciousness for no reason. This is, I'm going to offer you a perspective. What if, what if the reason why your past memories present themselves in your consciousness, in your thoughts, what if the reason is because that suppressed stuff has finally surfaced and it's time for you to heal it? There is something attached to that old memory. Emotional. Yeah? It's emotional attachment. Because you more than likely would say, oh, I've worked through that. Yeah, I've come to live with that. I've accepted that. I've worked through that. Yeah. But have you worked through the emotional attachment to that? That's the question you want to ask yourself. Because that is what's coming up to the surface. It's the emotion. It's not the event. You're focusing because this, the thinking, is just thinking about the story. But you may not have the awareness or the knowledge about the attachment that's dangled to that story. And whatever the situation you're in, whether it be a conversation, it's that conversation that has made you feel the same way that you did back then that's brought it up. If it rises to your consciousness, it's saying, hello, we're ready to be healed and thrown out. This no longer serves me. If you're not aware that that's why it's coming to your conscious thoughts, then guess what you'll do? You'll push that back down. And that's why that sits there. And so another event coming moving forward, you may have a conversation or a situation five days later. That same thought comes up. You're like, why am I thinking about this? You're focusing on the wrong thing. It's not about the thought. It's about the attachment. It's saying, you didn't heal me last time. I'm coming back up, giving you a second chance. What are you going to do with it? Yeah? Now I'm fully aware that so many of you watching this, this may be the first time you've ever heard of it from this perspective. And I'm all about saying, you don't know what you don't know. And that's why I'm doing these videos. I'm really getting the ability to speak to the camera and be very clear and concise. 
with practical ways to look at what's going on. I'm endeavouring to make practical things what are going on which we can't see that now I'm giving you that you may be able to see. Yeah? So listen carefully to when I explain. Because if you've ever had a situation and you've wondered why you reacted the way you did when you've calmed down and you've gone, why did I make such a big deal of it? There's a past emotion attached to it. And that's why you made a big deal of it. Because it's compounded your original reaction, emotional reaction. You're still carrying, you've dragged all the old stuff up. Oof, and that's compounded and hence why you went to Mount Vesuvius. So take some time and reflect and take note moving forward that when thoughts come up from your past, don't just say, why am I thinking that? Question what emotion is attached to it. That's what you want to look at and heal. And finally, throw out. Yeah? Yeah? I hope you got value from today. Please like, like this video, subscribe to my channel and also click on the notifications bell so you'll be notified for tomorrow's video. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video as I absolutely respect your time is valuable. Remember you matter, you matter. So invest in you and allow yourself to heal and release every bit of past trauma that you've endured. So you can raise your emotional awareness to live your authentic life. So for today, take care.